Peace Family is Jay Morrison, founder of Jay Morrison Academy. And I want to tell you about our Summer 17 Financially Lit campaign. So what we realized is the average person is not that financially lit. There's so much we don't know about how we use our money, how we make money, how we invest that money, and how money works. Financial literacy is money talk, it's money language, it's money skill set and money knowledge base. And so in the Jay Morrison Academy, we want to help everyone achieve that goal of financial freedom and financial literacy. So all you got to do is go to www.jmorrisonacademy.com and we have a $17 first month enrollment to our online courses. All classes, there's 17 bucks for summer 17 for you to become financially lit. Peace. I told him, please don't die over the neighborhood that your mama rented. Take your drug money and buy the neighborhood. That's how you rinse it. My name is Jay Morrison. Hi, Jay. How What's your name? My name is Kashira. Uh, Kashira? Yes. Uh, pleasure to meet you. All right. So we're here in New York City. I'm a real estate expert. I've uh, been in the game for 12 years now. Doing pretty well for myself. And I'm about empowering our community. But we want to find out how financially lit, financially literate the average New Yorker is. Okay. Some basic questions. It's all right. Okay. But we're going to learn today. Okay. We're all right. Today I'm willing to learn. All right. That's good. Okay. All right. So, Queen, um, have you ever been a homeowner? No, I have not. Like this Ashiki, by the way, too. Yeah, Already, right. Black Power. Alright, <laughs> uh, so King, have you ever been a homeowner? Uh, yeah, before uh, in North Carolina. Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright, so, do you know what a FICO score is? FICO? Do you know what a FICO score is? FICO score, I've heard the term, but I'm not too familiar with the... So, do you know what a FICO score is, King? I'm not too familiar with the basis of it. Okay. Too much, yeah, um, what else? All right, so I want to tell you what that is. Okay, so the FICO score, when you pull your credit report, there's three bureaus. Yeah. Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian, right? And banks look at your middle score as your FICO score. So they don't look about the highest score, they don't care about the lowest score. They want the one in between your highest and your lowest, and that's your middle score or your FICO score. Do you know how many credit bureaus there are? It's about... It's about... My second question for you is, do you know what a FICO score is? Yes, I do know what a FICO score is. All right, so tell us. A FICO score, it has to do with your credit. Um, similar to your credit score, uh, but I believe it's a little different. I, I, I believe it's like a combination between like Sands Jr., Equifax, and uh, uh, Experian, but I think a FICO score is the, uh, I think that's the most precise one, in my opinion. That's the one to really like look Okay, so you're very, very close. Oh. All right, very close. So it does have to do with TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, but your FICO score is your middle score. Three, three, oh, three, you got it, you got it. Hey, 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 tell hey, me, tell hey, me. Hey, it's, uh, uh, oh man, oh, uh, there's TransUnion. Got it. There's, there's TransUnion, there's, uh, oh uh, man, that starts with the N. I forgot it, uh, how, how, do I, how do I not know this? Like, I, I, I got a business. So it's, uh, it's TransUnion, it's, uh, oh, so tell I, me forgot, I, forgot, I, forgot, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. I think you're straight. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah. So tell me which one of these is not a credit bureau. All right? TransUnion. Okay. Equifax. Equifax. Azadian. Or Experian. Which one is not? Azadian. You're right. Azadian is not a credit bureau. Yeah, no. So another question for you. Do you know what an ROI is? Oh, no, no. All right, so your ROI is your return on investment. ROI, no, I've never heard of the term at all. Okay, no problem. ROI is return on investment. Oh, okay. That's how we find out how our money works for us in the banks or in different investments. So do you know what an ROI is? A what? ROI. ROI? No, I don't. Okay. So your ROI is return on investment. That's what it stands for. Oh, okay, well, I know what a return on investment means, but ROI is Absolutely. Okay, so tell me what a return on investment is. So our return on investment is when you put in a certain amount of money in an investment, when that company or whatever you invested in to start making money back, that's the the, uh, the extra or the overhead that you get. So if you get your investment amount back, whatever the surplus is, that's your return on right. investment. That's your rate of your return, correct. Right. So what kind of business are you in? Oh, I'm into business management consulting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, called, it's, it's called the Wayne Bit Enterprise LLC. Oh, that's so, love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I manage a couple of companies like 
Uh, but like my, my, I do graphics too. So I got like a company that I that I design clothes with. I got a magazine company. I got a music company. So I'm I'm, I'm developing a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Working on a lot of things. You working on a lot of things. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. All right. So we talked about FICO score. So can you tell me how do we find our FICO score? Do you know? Well, I guess you have to go do the credit the credit bureaus and check your credit score. And then I guess after your, if your credit score is not so good, then you would have to. Uh, consolidated, but then there's a thing called uh, there's a there's a thing that the banks use, which is called uh, what's that? What they, what's the name of the what's the name of the thing that the banks uh, use? They use because because the credit union uses a different system than the bank uses. It's uh, uh, all right. So I got yeah, you. I forgot, I forgot, it's all good. I forgot, I forgot. So check it out. It's what we do. The find your fight code. Take those three credit bureaus we talked about, yeah. TransUnion, Equifax, Experian. Okay. You take the highest score, throw it out. Don't mean nothing. Okay. Your lowest score, don't mean nothing. Okay. But that middle score is your FICO, no matter where you pull it at. Take oh, the okay. highest score, throw it out. Lowest score, throw it out. That middle score is your FICO score. All right, so where do you find the middle score? It's whatever one's left over out of three bureaus. Oh, okay. Right? All right all so right. you look at all three bureaus, okay, take the highest all score, three bureaus, yep, and then get the three credit scores. scores. Highest score, throw it out. Yeah. Lowest score, throw it out. That one that's left over, that's your middle score, no matter what real it is. All right, so is that the one that I use? Yes, yeah, that's okay. the one the banks use to finance you. All right, there you go. Uh -huh. I learned something new today. Now you finance <laughs> lit. That's what's up. Uh -huh. All right. And last thing I want to ask you is do you know what an LTV is? LTV. No, I would not. All right, I got you today. My name is Jay Morrison. We're being financially lit here in New York City. An LTV is called loan to value. That's the amount of money a bank gives you when you're buying a house. That amount of loan they give you to the value of the house is called your LTV. Okay. All right, so thank you for your time today, King. We want to get you financially lit. All right, more time, more time, more time. Hello. Right, look, so whether you're selling real estate, T-shirts, or selling hair weave, there's something called potential profit. Do you know how to find a potential profit on an investment? Do I know how to? Yeah. No. All right, so this is our formula for that. We're going to get financially lit today. All right. All right, so the formula for finding potential profit is simply you take the market value of what you can sell something for minus what you invested into it, and then that equals your potential profit. So if you find out that you can sell a kilo of hair weave for $300, but you invested overseas $100 to buy it, 20. you made 200 and you financially lit. Mm -hmm. exactly. All right, peace, kid. I was watching on YouTube, uh, YouTube today too. Oh, you saw it on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, you're talking about um, why it's not smart to buy a car. It's a new car. Right. Yeah, it's better than leasing or buying So he hit the game already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, been, I've been on to it. Alright, that's love. Peace.